I was working in Winchester skating rink and there was a boy in the office and he called, he answered the telephone. Somebody called, wanted to talk to somebody. So I told him to tell them to call the payphone. And he said he wanted to talk on that phone. So I told him, tell him you're not going to do it. And he did. The guy said, he's coming up here to get you. So that was my skate room boy. Well, when he come up to the window, he was drunk. And some of the other guys had gathered in the office. And I called the cops. But that drunk kept saying, he's going to get this other boy. Well, then that drunk, he, I leaned my mouth up to the window to tell him something, and he took his finger, and he poked me right in the lip, and I held my temper, and I thought, boy, I'm going to come out there. Then he spit through the window. I said, that's it, boy. Let's go. So I went out the double doors, and that boy came in the single door. And he was about ready to grab that boy that wouldn't let him talk on the telephone. And I slipped in behind him. I just got a nice set of brass knuckles. So I stuck them on my hand, reached way back in right field, and I cocked him right there in that ear. And he went, hmm, almost buckled down to his knee. Well, I slipped them back in my pocket. And the guys that saw me do it didn't see them knuckles. And they said, man, you better not mess with Bill. That guy can hit like kick like a mule. So then Smokey come up there and started dancing with him. Well, I slipped back in the office. Smokey's punching him in the face. About that time, his girlfriend come up, screaming, hollering. They finally dragged him out before the cops come. When he was going out, he looked at me and he said, give me some more of that. And I said, no, son, you don't want no more of that. Can you imagine what his ear felt like? when he woke up the next morning. Hmm. That's called...